Hey guys, and welcome back to another Adrift Fishing video. So today I'm on the York Peninsula, looking for yellowfin whiting on the flats. We're gonna stalk them down, throw around a few poppers, maybe some vibes. I just really want to get some whiting. It's been cool, haven't, haven't been able to do this while I've been in New Zealand, obviously, so I've been hanging out to get back on the flats and give the whiting a go, and that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. So check out this stunning location. Bloody amazing. Well, let's get a few poppers in and uh, go get some yellowfin whiting guys on the flats. Escape, if only that was a flatty. What a sand flat. How good does that look? There's gotta be some whiting around here somewhere. Oh, there's some whiting. There we go, got a whiting. Finally got a whiting. He's a one. There we go, today's mission is accomplished. So the idea today was to go looking for whiting on poppers on the flats. And that's exactly what I caught. He's a good size, that one. Taking the popper, fantastic. That is so good. What a spot. His flats are awesome. All right, we're gonna chuck around a few more poppers, guys. And uh, yeah, let's go get some more whiting. Awesome. And then little fish. Not too keen. Oh, let's find some bigger ones. I find the bigger, bigger whiting are more keen to hit a popper, eh? Oh, yep, hit. Yep, we're on. Tiny fish. Tiny fish. Tiny fish. What is it? Not what I was after. Not what I was after. Right. Let's get back on the whiting. One of the most exciting aspects of fishing I enjoy is sight fishing. Sight fishing doesn't matter what it's for, whether it's whiting, carp, kingfish, whatever. Right? Sight fishing is just the ultimate, it's the pinnacle of fishing. And when you can do it in such clear water, white sands, and you've got whiting cruising around and you're chucking little poppers at them, what's not to love? Let's go get some more. Oh, there was one following that. Damn it. Should have kept working it. Oh, one's on it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got the eat. Got the eat. That was cool. I just saw him race straight across the flat to nail it. That was so good. It's like bone fishing. This is cool. They're scrappy little things. I don't have a net though, so. Alright, good fish. They're good fish. There we go. Yellow and whitey on the flats. So for all you New Zealand subscribers, and you wanna know what all the fuss is about with whiting, that's whiting. The cool thing about these guys here is they'll charge down a popper on the surface in ankle deep water, way inshore on the nice beaches and all that sort of stuff like this one, and they'll actually munch a popper. So, not hard fighting fish, beautiful eating fish, 
probably rated up there with Gurnet, but um, yeah, they're just so aggressive and they'll smash a popper on the surface, which just makes it for exciting fishing. And that's what all the excitement's about. One's on it, one's on it. Yep, oh, missed him. Missed him. Nice little school. Try that again. All turning on it, on it. They're on it. Trick is you gotta keep it moving. Otherwise they lose interest. Never too shallow. This water's crazy shallow. It's ankle deep at best. If I hadn't seen whiting here, I would have just walked past. Long casts. This rod's great. It's like eight foot three, I can cast so far with it. The advantage there is the fish don't see you, because I find once, once they've seen you, they sort of turn off, they won't chase it again. And literally today, so bloody windy, this is pretty much one of the only spots I could fish. Take it bro, take it. He followed it for ages. Probably could have done with some of those, um, those little assist hooks, I reckon, on him. I didn't want it a second time. Oh, she's getting warm. So I've just had a bit of a break, gone and had some lunch. I'm now heading back to the flats again. Tide's starting to come back in, so I reckon I'm gonna go get on some more whiting. But uh, yeah, I have to go get sun smart. It's, I don't know, it's like 30 odd degrees at the moment. It's baking. That's cool. Let's go catch some more whiting. <laughs> oh, found the school. Found the school. Nice. That was a good take. I wish I had my camera on. Oh, they go hard for such little fish. A little bonefish. Look at that in the crystal clear water. That has to be my biggest one so far of the trip. What's he up to? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. How bloody good's that? Just came back to the flat after lunch and straight back on it. Look at that sand whiting. Smashed the little topper. So good, love this style of fishing. And that was a pack of probably about 20 or 30. It was awesome. Might have gone that way, I don't know. A long cast down or sever down there. Because they're all following that lead fish, which is the one I hooked. So it may have gone down that way, I don't know. Wow, did you see that skull? I'm just staying real still so they don't see me. That was crazy. That was fucking crazy. And then just like that, they disappear. There's one right in front of me. A couple right in front of me. They're everywhere. It's fucking real well when it comes towards me. A long cast to so get a bit more attention that way. Come on, guys, plenty of time to look at it. Oh, I charged it down and turned off it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 
<laughs> Got the whole school with him. Oh, that's a solid one. Definitely, definitely got the leaf fish. Oh, that's a stumper. Oh, check out the size of that one. Oh my god. That's stupid. Look at the size of that. Now that is a solid 45 centimeter whiting. Take it on a popper on top water. How bloody awesome is that? I mean, that is a solid, solid whiting. Oh man, I'm stoked with that. Whiting bust ups on the beach. Here we go, here we go, here we go, they're on it. Yep, there we go. Just like that. Ew! Oh yeah, boy. Oh, I pulled. Oh, no, his mate took it. <laughs> I pulled it again. <laughs> Straight out of one mouth into another. I had two. It's, yeah, the hook's pulled and then another one picked it straight up. That's crazy. Well guys, that's a wrap for the uh, top water whiting for today. It's been a pretty pretty epic session. Probably landed about six or seven. Kept four really nice ones. That one's 45. That one's about 42, 41. So good sizes, good sizes. Pretty happy with that. Only one thing I'll note though is I didn't have um, the assist hooks on the on the popper. If I had the assist hooks, I would have caught a shit ton more. Um, I was getting hookups on the trebles, but they weren't staying connected. So definitely need to upgrade some of those. I just didn't have a chance because I left on my little trip on New, Year, New Year's and uh, everything's closed. So definitely going to happen next time. But we stuck through to the end, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And yeah, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss any future episodes. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one. And sweet, tight lines, boys. Catch you later.